Hey, what's up? It's Triggy. Is wood glue really stronger than wood? So after looking into this a bit, it looks like the wood glue is most effective when the wood is oriented long grain to long grain. We're going to test three types of wood and three types of forces, shearing, axial, and bending. A quick refresher, shearing is caused by forces pushing different sections of an object in different directions. Axial forces are tension or compression, in our case tension, and bending is, well, bending. To test these three forces, we're going to glue the wood samples like this. Notice the notch is cut into the shearing sample. This is so that if the glue is in fact stronger than the wood, the sample is somewhere to break, like here or here. For the axial test, the glue is successful if the sample breaks anywhere other than the glue line. For the bending test, since the center is where we expect the highest stress, the sample will be glued off-center. This is because if we were to glue the sample in the middle and it also broke in the middle, that wouldn't give us any information since that's where we'd expect it to break even without glue. Our shear sample is actually going to look a little more like this so that it fits into the Instrad machine. What's an Instrad machine? It's this rig. The sample gets pulled apart here and the data is recorded and analyzed here. So let's get started on these samples. We're going to apply the glue, spread it out evenly, and then clamp it. All right, let's get to it. We'll start with the shear stress test with our first sample, pine. Believe it or not, this is actually sped up eight times. And it breaks. And look at that, the break is through the wood, not through the glued section. All right, let's try cherry. Just like the pine, it breaks through the wood, not through the glued section. I lost the footage of the test, but the glue is three for three. In all three shear samples, the break is through the wood. Moving on to axial testing, starting with pine. The sample on the right broke cleanly through the glue line. On the left, the wood frayed a bit on one end, but it's also still pretty much along the glue line. This is just to double check that I have the wood oriented correctly. Let's try our next sample, Sherry. Another success for the glue, both samples broke through the wood. And moving on to maple. No such luck here. Both samples broke cleanly along the glue line. Now let's set up the Instron for some bending tests. Let's get started with pine. This one's a little tough to call. It broke along the glue line, but it pulled up the wood quite a bit. So that's interesting. It broke mostly along the glue line, but a good chunk of it broke through the wood. No technicalities there. The maple sample broke right through the wood. All right, let's take a look at the results. For all three shear samples, the glue was successful. For the axial tests, the glue was successful for the cherry, pretty much unsuccessful for pine, and unsuccessful for maple. As for bending, it was successful on the maple, unclear on the cherry, and pretty much unsuccessful for the pine. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.